Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and if you're on Windows 10 and you were thinking of moving on to Windows 11 and uh, one of the biggest annoyances for people that were moving on is that they were offered to move from Windows 10 to Windows 11 22 H2 when they would actually go to the settings and click for updates and see that they were offered Windows 11. So this meant that you had to go to Windows 11, 22H2, and then you had to apply the update for 23H2 if it was offered. Uh, and for some people, it was not offered. And because Windows 11, 23H2 is now what they call broad deployment, meaning that most people could see it now. Uh, not everybody, once again, I always get some people say, well, I don't see it yet. It, there could be exceptions to the rule. But if you're on Windows 11, on Windows 10, and do want to move on eventually to Windows 11, the latest version, Microsoft made a change on the server side of their updates, which means that if you go to your Windows 10 machine and see the Windows 11 upgrade, it will now move you to 23H2 directly without having to go to 22H2. So that will save you on some of the updates that you have to do and um, you know, wasting time checking for 23H2 when 22H2 is there. So it's kind of a quicker way to move from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So they uh, fixed that uh, for a lot of people. Also, there are um, few, but there are still some people that could technically, if your machine is uh, compatible, not see Windows 11 offered yet. But uh, they're saying at Microsoft that for the most part, if you're on Windows 11, on Windows 10, sorry, and you do have a compatible machine, most of you should see Windows 11 offered if you wish to move on, of course. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.